back, everybody. My next guests tonight are the stars of one of Broadway's hottest new shows, Moulin Rouge, the musical. Please welcome Karen Olivo and Aaron Tveit. <laughs> Welcome, welcome from down the street. Seriously. Yeah, just nice right. to have new neighbors who are doing such a beautiful musical. Here it is. It's Moulin Rouge. It is at the Al Hirschfeld Theater. And it's it's based on the 2001 Baz Luhrmann film. It is. That's which right. is super over the top. What? Beautiful. No. Yeah, it is, it is. It is packed with lights and music and emotion. Yeah. What did you think when the two of you heard that they were developing this musical? It's about time. Yeah. Really? No, I no, saw the movie and I was like, this has to be a musical. Absolutely. Yeah, right? it just has always seemed to be one of those stories because, the, as you said, the film is kind of so over the top and it, it, I always thought it would translate very well to a Broadway stage. Super so, theatrical. yeah, I, I kind of couldn't believe it took this long for them to do it. Oh, look at that. This is, this is the set right here. It's incredibly lavish. It's got, I think I've got it over here. There's a giant elephant. There's a big elephant. On the yeah. set. Yep. And of course, the iconic windmill. Big windmill. Yep. And there's like confetti cans and everything. I understand you make an entrance on a swing. I do, sir. From the top of the damn yeah. dome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Like, yeah. that's, th are you scared? I used to be. And now I'm, it's, you know, it's like sitting in that chair. <laughs> 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 if I fell out of this chair, nothing would happen. <laughs> oh, we would all talk about it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, do you, do you, are, do you like, are you clutching for dear life? Not anymore, no. I trust, I trust the people who put me in it. I have also, a safety the, harness. The good thing about the swing that she's in, when we were, we did our out-of-town try in Boston last year, and it was, you know, it was actually <laughs> kind of like a swing chair. Now right. she's on basically a trapeze bar. So they've taken away yeah. all of her surface area. It's great, you guys, it's great. <laughs> I'm okay, don't worry. Do you sing as you come down? I do, sir. How do you, I bet that must give you a tremolo like nobody's business. <laughs> no, it's great, it's, it's. No, it's... thank you. <laughs> no. You guys, Nicole Kidman came to the show. She sure did. You she know, did. of course, uh, the original sateen from the movie. Did she, did she talk to you guys about, did she give you the, her, uh, her blessing? Yeah, she and, yes. uh, she and Keith Urban, her husband, were there, and they, you know, they came back to the HSCS, and, you know, it's really kind of amazing, you know, it's an iconic, you know, iconic performance, and for her to come back and kind of... It meant a lot to us. Yeah. She asked me how I did the coughing. That was the thing that she was the most interested in. Because the character is consumptive, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, she's dying of consumption, so she's coughing the entire time. Yeah, everybody in Paris in the 1890s, I think, was dying of consumption. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. almost. Truly. Yes. That's well, kind of, how do you, by the way, how do you sing and cough at the same time. Carefully. <laughs> Secrets. Now, the show is, uh, well, it's pop songs. It's modern pop songs yes. yeah. woven through a story from the 1890s. Mm -hmm. How do you fit in, like, Rihanna and Lady Gaga and things like that? I see, I see Lady Gaga in Paris in the 1890s, I guess. But is that <laughs> challenging at all? Yeah, I mean, we follow suit. The movie takes, you know, if, if you've not seen it, uses pop music to tell the story. And it kind of, you know, our, our creators put together some of the music from the film and new music, but I have to say, from my own standpoint, I don't even think of them as pop songs anymore because they work so well dramatically so true. in the story. Like, there's a section in the second act where I sing Gnarls Barkley into an Adele song. And, you know, you'd, you'd think that that really wouldn't work in 1899 Paris, but the lyric fits so well the storytelling is seamless yeah. do you uh do you are you either jealous of the songs that uh -huh. the other ones get to sing i just learned that he is yeah uh, i didn't karen, know this karen gets to sing firework by Katy perry very early in the show and but uh anytime you want to sing it bro you can sing it <laughs> i'll let him have not it on stage though not on stage <laughs> come on he could do it he could do it in my key well probably. i i mean she does it wait a second <laughs> she well. could do it in your key I, yeah, have you ever heard him sing no. <laughs> oh, you're about to. Come on. Look, this. Yeah, exactly. 
we actually have a we have a very strange you know it's it's kind of amazing to sing with Karen because we sing another song together come what may and there are moments I think where our harmony parts are so close together that we've talked about it we forget and we can't actually tell who's singing which part that is it's a true. very strange thing that happens sonically we live in the same place it's really weird it's very odd that's a phrase i've never said <laughs> sonically. sonically we live in the same place <laughs> well uh you're, you're gonna do a, a song for us now what, what, we what song are we gonna hear um, you're so excited so this is uh this is uh, one of the songs that is in the film and also our show, it's your song. Uh, it's kind of when she and Elton I... Elton John originally. Elton John originally. Um, we're in The Elephant, her, her uh, boudoir, her room, and it's a classic farce where she thinks that we're there to uh, spend the night together as in a business transaction, and I think I'm there to pitch a song idea to her, so hilarity ensues. Yeah. Well, stick around for a performance <laughs> from Moulin Rouge, the musical, by Karen Olivo and Aaron Tveit. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> 